In Azure DevOps, to deploy an app to an Azure resource, like a web app or a virtual machine, you need an Azure Resource Manager service connection. You can define service connections under your project and it can be used across all your pipelines. There are multiple ways to define service connections and set up the authentication between Azure DevOps and your Azure subscription. In this video, let's look at two of the common ways you can set up this connection so that you can start using Azure resources inside your Azure DevOps account. Hello everyone, my name is Rahul and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this channel, I usually talk about .NET, Azure and DevOps. So if any of these interest you, please make sure to hit the subscribe button. Let's head off to my Azure DevOps account that I recently set up using a new email. Here, I have a test project which has a pipeline for releases already created. This is a web application and it has the pipeline that's deploying this to an Azure web app. Let's edit this pipeline and under the stages, there are two stages. Let's navigate to the dev stage and here it says it needs some attention. Here we have an Azure subscription that needs to be selected so that this can be deployed to the appropriate web application. Let's bring down this dropdown and it says no subscriptions or service connection found. This is because I don't have an Azure subscription for the email account that I have used to set up this Azure DevOps account. Let's see how we can fix this. The easiest way to connect an Azure subscription is to add this email to an Azure AD that has a valid subscription associated. To do this, let's navigate over to my Azure subscription which is under a different email account. Let's go to the left side navigation bar and go into Azure Active Directory. Here, under users, we can add the email ID for that user. So let's switch back to the account and get the email ID for this particular account. So it says, hello DevOps. Under users, I can add a new user or a new guest user. Since this is an external user, let me add it as a guest user. I can specify the name. So in this case, I'll specify hello DevOps and give the email address for that account. I can give the first name and also the last name. So let's click invite and this should send an invite message to this particular user. To give appropriate rights for this user, you can navigate to this newly created user and then go to assigned roles. Under here, we can add different roles for this user. In this example, I'll add a global administrator role so that this user has full access. So let's search for global administrator and check that and click add. This has successfully added this role to this user. So let's navigate off to the other account and go to the Outlook email. We should be seeing an email invite from this Azure subscription. So it says there is an Azure subscription invite and we can click accept invitation. Now that we have given this user the global administrator access to the Azure AD, let's also give this user access to the subscription. To do that, let's navigate to the subscriptions under this Azure user and select the appropriate subscription. In this case, I'll choose the Visual Studio Professional subscription and navigate to the access control IAM on the left side menu. To add role assignments to this subscription, we can click add role assignments up here. Choose the role that you want to give for this new user. In this case, I will choose owner role. I can start searching by that name. So let's search by hello DevOps, which is the new account that I have created. So let's select that and click save. Now we have also assigned a role permission for this new user to this Azure subscription. Navigating back to our Azure DevOps account to this release pipeline, let's click refresh and wait for this subscription to show up here. Now if you choose the drop down, you can see that we have the professional subscription appearing down here. I can select this and also start selecting any of the app services under that particular subscription. After selecting the subscription, we need to click authorize to configure this Azure service connection. This 
automatically creates an Azure service principle into this Azure Active Directory. This is why we had to give this user also permissions to create into the Azure Active Directory. So let's click Authorize and this should pop up the email login. So let's use the appropriate email address and the password for that account. So let's click Sign In and this is going to authorize and create a new service principle into the Azure Active Directory. The Azure Service Connection is successfully created. Now if you go down to this dropdown, you can start seeing the Azure Web Apps under that subscription. If you navigate to the project settings, under Service Connections on the left, we can see that there is a new connection that was automatically created. This is what was created when we clicked the Authorize. So if we select in, we can say Manage Service Connection Roles and Manage the Service Principle. If we select that, it's going to take us to the Azure account. Now we are into the Azure Active Directory where we originally gave access to. We can see that there is an AD application that's created here. This AD application service principle is used to authenticate the Azure DevOps account and this Azure subscription. If we navigate to the appropriate subscription under the Access Control IAM and to the role assignments, you can see that that service principle is automatically added in here and given a contributor access. From now on, this automatically created service principle will be used by the Azure DevOps pipeline to connect to the Azure subscription and deploy resources and other applications to that. Let's now see how we can manually set up this connection without giving the user the appropriate permissions into the subscription. So let's navigate back to our Azure DevOps account. We can delete this particular connection and click delete, which should clean up the service principle inside the Azure subscription as well. To manually create this service connection, let's navigate off to the Azure subscription portal. Under here, let's navigate to the Azure Active Directory and go to App Registrations. Under App Registration, let's create a new registration for this connection. So let's specify a name, Hello DevOps Service Connection. Choose one of the supported account types, select Web and you don't have to give a URL in this case. So let's click register. This has created an Azure AD application in this Active Directory. We can now, we can start using this particular service principle to connect the DevOps account into this subscription. So let's navigate to our DevOps account and click create a service connection. This is going to prompt a list of options that you can connect. In this case, we are connecting to an Azure Resource Manager, so let's select that and click Next. We can choose the automatic, which was the earlier method that we chose. Let's click Service Principle Manual. In this case, we are manually creating the service principle. And let's click Next. Here, it requires a couple of fields. To start with, let's choose the subscription ID and the subscription name. We can easily get this from the Azure Visual Studio subscription. So let's navigate to the subscriptions inside the portal and get the subscription ID from here. So let's copy that and paste it inside this field. For the name, similarly, we can choose it from here, which in this case is Visual Studio Professional with MSDN. So let's keep that. Now to authenticate to this subscription, we need a service principle which is the AD app that we just created. For the ID, let's navigate back to the AD app and choose the application client ID. So let's copy that and paste it in here. For the credential, we can either use a service principle key or a certificate. To get the service principle key, we can navigate back to the AD application. Under certificates and secrets, we can manually create a new secret. So let's click new client secret and say DevOps connection. So let's keep it as never and select add. Make sure to copy this value, which is the secret in this particular case. So you can switch back and use the service principle key in here. For the tenant ID, we can get it from the AD application overview. So here we have the directory or the tenant ID in here. Let's copy that and again populate that inside this service connection. 
clicking verify is now going to fail because we have not given access for this particular service principle to this subscription. So let's see how we can do that. So let's navigate back again to the portal, go to the subscriptions, under the subscriptions and go to the appropriate subscriptions here. So let's choose Visual Studio Professional because that's where we are going to give the permissions for. Under Access Control IAM, let's click Add and select the role assignment. Since this requires a contributor role, let's give that. So choose the contributor and we can search this particular name that we have created. So it is the Hello DevOps service connection. So let's give that service connection the contributor access to this particular subscription. So let's click save and that should add the role assignment. Now that it's successfully added, let's switch back to our DevOps account and here we can click verify again. This time the verification has succeeded because it has the appropriate rights that's required. We can give this a name. Let's say my Azure subscription and click verify and save. This is now creating a new service connection inside here manually. If we switch back to the release pipeline, we can start using this particular connection that we have created. Under the pipeline, let's make sure to edit and go to the stage details. To choose the subscription, let's click the drop down, and we now have this particular service connection that we have created. This subscription is showing up because this user is still attached to that particular subscription. If I go and remove that, this will also go off. So let's use this service connection, which we just created, which will also now give us access to the app services under that particular subscription. So if we choose the drop down, we can see all the web apps as before. Hope this helps you to set up the connection between an Azure DevOps account and your Azure subscription. So you can choose either of these methods that suits you. If you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button. If you want to be notified in the future of similar such videos, please hit subscribe. Thank you and see you soon.